Southern Colorado is home to a secret new outer space battle lab. Unlike the line that the famous TV series made popular, space is not the final frontier. If we've learned anything, space is the new battlefield, and one that military leaders recognize cannot be lost. The nation's security and yours depends on it. It's out of that the Joint Interagency Combined Space Operations Center was formed. The center, headquartered at Schriever Air Force Base, soft launched this week. Only on 13, why it's so critical. Nestled by this modest community on the plains lies one of the military's newest ventures, a venture leaders say it can't do without. Its inception comes right from Secretary of Defense Ash Carter. The Joint Interagency Combined Space Operations Center is at the highest security level known, which means our cameras cannot show you the facilities here at Shriver Air Force Base. The goal is complex, to respond to an evolving threat, one that comes from beyond our Earth's atmosphere. Nearly every facet of our lives is connected to satellite communications. ATMs, TV, GPS. For the military, satellites are critical. From the ground... Give me a range and grid to the target. Range is 1,700 meters. Hey, we're still waiting for the satellites to acquire. To the air, to the sea, it is all connected up there. Navigation, missile warning, surveillance, reconnaissance, communications. And now military leaders are asking, what if? Be advised, we're showing indications of jamming over the target area. We've been doing space ops for 50 years. Uh, and but it's been in a benign environment. Not anymore. Military leaders made this blistering announcement at the 2016 Space Symposium. The United States has lost the ability to determine where potential threats in space come from. It was a wake-up call. Gather the best and brightest of the intelligence community to protect the nation's reconnaissance satellites. Space is foundational to, to the kind of the modern way of life. Colonel Todd Brost is spearheading the effort. Our potential adversaries have been watching us for quite a while, and they're seeking to deny us those advantages. The situation was so urgent, the colonel was pulled early from deployment to get the center up and running. Why the rush? Why, why put the rush on it? Because the threats in some cases are here, and in some cases are very close to being here. Because this is such a new venture, we really had to learn about you know what kind of people we needed, what kind of systems we needed, the data required, the processes. So we're really building this all from scratch. An initial $16 million was allocated for the venture, the military saving some by putting to use some of the infrastructure already in place at Shriver. And not a moment too soon. The Chinese and the Russians are pursuing these anti-satellite capabilities and in some cases have, have field to them already. It's rendered the space race, the space battlefield. There was a, uh, a Russian space launch, and when they go up, we typically look at all the pieces that come off of it, and mostly that's just debris. So we say, okay, I've got the satellite, I have the rocket body, and I have some debris that goes with it. Uh, some period later, the debris starts moving. Debris doesn't move. That's the things we're worried about. Are there hidden payloads out there that could be a threat to our space capabilities? which means any satellite launch and eventual orbit will be watched by this secretive mission. We're going to watch the objects in space. Are they doing anything unusual that isn't consistent with what the stated purpose of those uh, satellites are, or if it's debris, to confirm that it actually is debris? The Joint Interagency Combined Space Operations Center will be fully operational January of 2018 and employ 200 people. There are seven military installations operating in Colorado. Schriever, NORAD, the North American Aerospace Defense Command, inside Cheyenne Mountain. Peterson Air Force Base borders Colorado Springs to the east, Fort Carson to the south, and the Air Force Academy to the north. The Army also operates the Pueblo Chemical Depot and Buckley Air Force Base in Aurora. The Air Force is investing billions of dollars in the space race. In fact, the Secretary of the Air Force is also the Department of Defense Principal Space Advisor. You can watch her 2016 State of the Air Force address on KRDO.com. I've also included this strategic intent document from the commander of the Air Force Space Command. Kind of scary. You don't think about space as a threat, but it turns out. Definitely so, yeah. No longer a benign environment. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. Coming up.